I need to take it off the screen here. Lucy, is that you? Lucy, can you hear me? Mute yourself. Float down to the bottom. Hi, Brittany. You guys can take your mics off for a minute. Just float down to the bottom and you can unmute yourself. Hi. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Ms. Birch. Hi, sweetheart. Were you able to get on okay with my email? I mean, yeah. not my email. Yeah, see, I, I'm gonna do it that way, babe, because I don't wanna send massive emails. Okay. So you're just gonna all, all every meeting, you're just gonna go into um, the classroom and you're just going to join from the classroom. Okay. Okay. Thank Did you, you have any? Okay. No problem. Um, one of the problems I'm going to bring this up too is that sometimes you guys are seeing things differently than I am, and so I'm trying to help you, but I'm telling you the wrong thing. So um, I'm really glad that this worked because um, what I did, I set up a recurring meeting, and so I'm hoping that that this will avoid having to go through the email. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Brittany. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Did you go through the email, babe? I, I mean, went through, did you go through the classroom. Class too. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So hopefully that's going to work for people. But um, um, you guys can definitely talk to me. Um, you just you just when I'm when I'm talking, just mute yourself but you can definitely unmute yourself and talk to me. Yeah. So um, I, I could uh, I could mute you definitely, but I, 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 wanna, I wanna try to make this as much like our classroom as possible. And um, uh, since you two are the only ones here right now, um, if you could just help me out, like if you can't see something and you can't hear me or there's some kind of technical thing, make sure that um, you help me out, okay? Okay. Okay. You guys, I'm, I'm here a little bit early. Do you guys want to ask me anything right now that you're wondering about? No. I hope you didn't get um, bombarded with too much information. I know that um, when I started all this, I felt like, I don't know, like I was just blasted with, with information, so. I don't know, is, is that what you guys feel like? Were you just blasted with information from everyone? Yeah. So are you gonna teach lessons through here? I am. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna teach lessons, uh-huh. So uh, are you gonna uh, turn in homework? You're not gonna turn in work. Um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna do the work but you're going to go to my link in classroom and just put your assignment percentage. You know, I usually make you give me the, uh, your... yeah. Okay. See, and the reason why I'm doing that is because, um, I don't really need to see your, your work, um, so much, but I do need you to perform on the test because that's going to be 60% of your grade still. Okay. So that, that's why that's how students are motivated to do the assignments. Um, also, um, did you guys get my syllabus? Yeah, I got it. Um, is it on classroom? Uh huh. I put it in the classroom. There's a lot of useful information in there, but um, you guys will definitely be, if you want to meet with me on Wednesday, I have a lot of time on Wednesday um, to go through things if you want. So I'm not going to leave you stranded and I'm not going to go 100 miles an hour. So. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Hi, Matthew, Tiffany, Samantha, Crystal. Also, um, if you guys want to really help me out a lot, if um, you can just let me see you so I can see like a thumbs up. Or if you still have on your pajamas and stuff, I understand. But um, 
If you can just, if I could see you, uh, that would be a lot easier than me talking to the screen and, and wondering if you're there. So, um, hi, Matthew. How are you? Good to see you. I'm gonna pin myself. There we go. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Tiff. Is joining. We're going to have 57 people here, so it's going to be interesting. Good to see all of you. So, if uh, I want this to be as much like the classroom as possible, so if you guys can just basically float down to the bottom and mute yourself um, when I'm talking. But you're definitely welcome to unmute yourself um, if something's going wrong or you need to tell me something. Or if I ask you for questions, you can definitely unmute yourself. So, um, but while I'm talking, if you can just um, have the, the other day I had dogs barking. I could hear a million kids in the background, which was fun. Um, but there was a lot of static and things like that. So if you could just mute yourself when I'm talking, that'd be great. When you're talking, uh, don't forget to unmute yourself. Anybody want to say anything while we're waiting? <laughs> this is so weird, right? What's that? Matthew, were you saying something? Hi, Eric. Hi. You're so cheap. Hi. Matthew, can you mute yourself? Because I'm hearing all that static coming from your end. Uh, yeah. Hi, Crystal. So those of you who are just joining on, thank you so much for letting me see you. Um, it's really weird just talking to the screen and um, wondering if you can hear me okay and everything else. So I'm glad you guys were able to make it in. I hope you um, were able to follow my directions. I'm not gonna send out a massive amount of emails for these meetings. Um, I do want you to join the meetings um, through Google Classroom. And um, there is a link for WebEx there. I hope that's how you did it. Um, and then um, once you're in, the, you just join from your browser when you get to the bottom. Hi, Ben. Okay, so any of you that are here right now, did anybody have any problems um, getting into the meeting? Because um, Obviously, you have to be able to get in the meetings twice a week, so. We're going to have 57 people uh, in this meeting. Um, all three Algebra 2 classes will be in this meeting. Uh, there's no point. We, I have more than 36 chairs here, so I, we, I don't have to teach at a bunch of different periods. So the reason why I'm, I mean, I'm going to probably repeat this, but the reason why I'm doing it this way, because I have, I need time to learn all this technology. And so I want to be able to teach the lesson once. Um, the lesson is being recorded, by the way, um, even as I speak. Um, so I'm going to, if I can figure it out how to upload it to my YouTube channel, um, you will be able to, you know, rewatch the meeting um, if you need to, or stop and go, stop and go um, once I start teaching. Um, I'm probably not going to teach today. And if I do, um, it won't be a whole lot. So. Going to take things as slow as possible. Um, we're being bombarded with a bunch of stuff, and I do realize that, and I do feel the same way. So, going to try to just um, take it easy here. If you are just joining in, um, if you can float to the bottom and turn your mic off, um, I see all of you have your mic off right now. Um, hi, Brooke. If you want to say something, though, make sure you unmute yourself so 
I can hear you. Uh, do you guys want to ask me anything right now while we're waiting? There, I have one minute, but I'd probably start a little bit late just to make sure people who waited at the last minute um, can get in. So, Anybody want to say anything? It's so good to see you. Go ahead, Klaisa. Anybody have a question about anything right now? I feel a lump in my throat because it's so good to see all of you. See Lucia is joining. It's Jackie joining. It's eight o'clock, so I'm going to be starting on time. There's Chris. So normally I'll start on time. You guys know me, um, but today I'm going to be a little flexible because people are trying to get used to WebEx, trying to figure out what's going on. And um, I had people join a little differently than other teachers might have you join. Go ahead, Brooke, you want to say something? Or are you waving at me? Um, Natalie and Jetty are having a hard time getting on the call. Let's get this off. Okay. What's wrong? It's it's the same thing that happened to Matthew when we had the um, the practice call where the join meeting button like lights up for like a second and then they can't press it. Okay. Um. Did they go to the ch? Okay. First of all, they need to have their they have their need to have their school Gmail. Um. They need to go to the ca. They either need to load uh, download Google Classroom dot uh, app for their phone. Or they need to go to the CHS website. After that, go to Let's Go. After that, okay. go to Classroom okay. and then Classroom. No. Are you talking to me? Okay. So basically, yeah, they need to join from Google Classroom. There's a link there. When they join from Google Classroom, they're going to go to the bottom and join with their browser. And the the uh, the password is Yellow Jacket. Okay, because look, Brooke, when I press I press WebEx meeting and it takes me to this. Jenny, you need to click the call me option underneath, like at the bottom. Oh, and okay. So Computer. computer. That was my problem. Using computer for audio? Yeah. And then it should Oh. Okay. Okay, I think I got yeah. it. Yeah. While you guys in the sink. Who's, who's talking? I'm trying to recognize the voice. Is that Matthew? It was Matthew yeah. telling Jetty, helping Jetty. Okay, what was she doing exactly? It's because um she didn't what did she not do? She Hi Brian. Thing, but it was because she needed to go to the call me option. Joining. Okay, so before you join, you go to the call me option and connect it to your computer, or else like it won't let you into the call. Okay, is that what you're talking about? Is that for uh, is that for the phone? No, it's for the computer. It's for everybody. So if we didn't have a practice call before and you're gonna join the call, the call me option below the button, you have to you have to like set it up to your computer so like your computer microphone and um your computer speaker before you enter the call or else you can't join okay can you explain this to me in more detail real quick um all i know is what i told you and like i said students different things are happening to students so did they so, go to the chs did they go to the ch website 
Did you have the website you it's or the classroom? I use the classroom. Jetty used. Okay, what happened after that? They clicked on the WebEx, WebEx link. Yeah, and then it took them to like um, the screen before, right before you call to where you joined the meeting. And um, you but they clicked the, hold on just a second. They clicked the WebEx in, in Google Classroom. Is that correct? Yeah, they clicked the link in Google Classroom. Okay, and then what? Computer audio. And then um, before you join the call, you're going to go to the call me option and you're going to connect it to your microphone and your audio and your computer. Uh, I got it now, I think. You're on the screen. <laughs> I only see, I only see five or six people. There's, there's over 20, there could be 50 people on here. I don't know how many people are on here right now. Um, so, okay. I'm going to wait a couple more minutes. It's 8.05. Um, so go to my WebEx link for the, and then Go to the call me, call me, is it a button? And then connect the audio and video. I didn't hear you, Brooke. I see your lips moving. Oh, you're talking to them, okay. Go to Google Classroom and join from the link, WebEx. Students just told me that you need to hit the call me button to connect audio and video on your computer. When you get into WebEx, go to the bottom and join from your browser. Password yellow jacket. That's Max. Ramos, if you can help him out, that'd be cool. Um, I'm not sure what's happening with him, but uh, I'm hoping he's trying to join from the WebEx link in Google Classroom. I'm going to start in about three minutes. Um, can you unmic yourself and let me know if you're trying to help somebody get on or join the meeting? Um, Ms. Burke, I work on helping Max. Matthew, okay, you're helping Max. Thank you. Is anyone else helping anyone trying to join the meeting? Brooke, who are you helping? Helping Natalie. Okay. Uh, Ms. Birch, I'm trying to help you. I didn't hear that, Matthew. Uh, that wasn't me. Okay. Eric, were you saying something? Guzman, are you saying something? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get to know real quick. Okay, Jason. Okay, thank you. Lucy is coming on board.
For those of you who are helping Natalie, Max, and Jason, can you please let me know um, if they're able to join because I cannot see them. There's two people. Um, Natalie got up. Geraldine, I'm sorry. Okay, perfect. Um, was there anything? Was there anything special I need to know about Natalie's situation? No, I'm sorry. This is Geraldine. Oh, Natalie, go ahead and speak, please. Yes. For some reason, um, when I tried putting my my uh, it does not let me. I'm not sure how it works, but um, this time's not letting me. Okay. Um, I don't know if you did this, but they were saying that when you join WebEx, um, you hit to hit you have to hit the call me button to connect audio and video. Max, you made it. Miss Birch, how do you get to the WebEx meeting through um, the Clinton High School webpage? Okay, you go to the CHS webpage. You go to Let's Go. You go to Google Classroom. And in my classroom, under classwork, I have a link to WebEx. When you hit the link, you're gonna be in the classroom and you go to the bottom and join from your browser. So you go to the very bottom of the screen and you join from your browser and the password is Yellow Jacket. Hi, Max. Hello. I'm glad you made it, Max. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to help Jason out real quick. And like for some reason he goes, he gets the um he gets like the link to WebEx, but he goes into like his own call. Oh, that happens. Okay, first of all, is he using his own his his school Gmail account? Uh yeah. He must be using his account because everything is linked to your Gmail account at school. Um, Eric, if he can't, if he can't join right now, you might want to just hold up your phone or let him see the meeting that way. I'm not sure what to do. Um, this is why I did the practice meetings on Saturday to resolve these technical issues. Jonathan. Hi. Okay, I'm going to get started. Anybody want to say something? Go ahead. So she can get on for a little bit, but it won't. Oh. Did it disconnect? Uh, is this Matthew wants to join? I don't know why he's tweaking out. He's tweaking out? Jeez. Okay, hold on. Jonathan, did you want to say something? Um, no. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, like I just um Jenny can get to the meeting itself, but it won't connect to her audio, so she can't hear anything. Right. So there's something going there's there's something going on with her audio. So she needs to somehow connect her audio through that call me button or um but for now, um is it just Jenny you're talking to, Brooke? Yeah. Okay, just can is can you just hold it up so she can see this meeting because I need to get started. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, this meeting has been recorded since 10 till 8. And so if you look at this meeting later on on YouTube, uh, my YouTube.
panel. Um, you're going to have to probably just forward it until you get to some thing in the meeting that's going to be important. Um, anyhow, I just want to say good morning, and I and I'm. It's really good to see you all. Um, if everyone can just scroll to the bottom of the page um, and turn your microphone off, so you just float to the bottom. And you'll see a little microphone on the left. Make sure that's turned off. Um, I've been hearing a lot of dogs with the practice sessions and a lot of kids, which is fun to hear. Um, but there's a lot of static and things when everybody has their microphone on. So I need you to turn it off. Um, you're welcome to turn it on and talk to me if there's a problem or you need to say something or I'm doing something that you can't see. Um, I um, have the option of permanently turning you off. I don't want to do that. Um, I want you to be able to speak um, when you need to. So uh, I just want to tell you it's um, it's really been overwhelming for me the past few weeks. So if you feel overwhelmed and feel like just a bunch of stuff was thrown at you and it's really confusing and scary and stressing you out. I totally get that and I totally understand, but I want you to know that um, I'm going to try to take things slow. I'm going to try to get things uh, resolved with your technical issues and various things like that. Um, so um, it's just really good to see you. I know that uh, the other day when I was doing practice meetings, I just felt so much better after just seeing you and knowing that you're there. Um, Honestly, I just only really care about um, being able to uh, be there for you, really, and uh, to give you um, the quality of lessons and things that you need um, to advance to the next level. So anyhow, I just want to say one thing real quick about this, if you're a senior, um, which I don't think I have any seniors in this class, um, right? I don't think anybody's in there right now that's a senior, but um, I'm really sorry about everything that's going on um, with you guys and just everyone. Um, you just need to hang in there. We're going to be okay. All right. So um, try not to worry about the future so much. Try to just take one day at a time. It has enough trouble of its own. So try to just take one day at a time, take deep breaths. Take warm baths to alleviate stress. And um, I'll tell you what I did this morning. What I did this morning, I took a shower and I got ready like I normally would for school. Um, and I recommend you do that. I feel like refreshed and I feel like I'm ready to go. And so um, perhaps thinking about that on our weekly meetings on Monday and Thursday, you know, get up, take a shower um, and be ready to go, you know, see how that, see how you feel with that. Um, so all three honors algebra two classes are going to be taught in one meeting. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons for that, but uh, the main reason is because I need to familiar familiarize myself with the technology that's being required of me. And um, there's no reason to teach a lesson three times when I can teach you all in one lesson, in one setting. So we will only be meeting twice a week. And I hope you guys got notification of my syllabus, but the syllabus is now in your classroom under class. I think it's under classwork um, syllabus. Um, there's a lot of important information in there. Some of it don't even look at like, the uh, platform for the computer and stuff. Don't don't look at some of that stuff's just, I don't know, extra information. Um, but you do want to look at things that I'm writing for specifically for this class. So we'll meet twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays at eight o'clock. And um, I do have it scheduled from eight to ten or something. But don't worry about that. The, the class goes from eight to eight fifty. Um, you are welcome to stay later to speak with me. Um, and you are welcome to come earlier, um, 10 minutes earlier, or even, even sooner to get in the classroom. Um, I will be having workshops on Wednesday. Uh, those workshops are at 9.05 to 9.55. Um, 
We will do them using WebEx. We could, if there's only two or three of us, we could use Google Meets. I don't really care. We're just gonna see how it goes. But the workshop times are gonna be every Wednesday at 9.05. I also have office hours um, on Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. And um, all of this stuff is in the syllabus. So if you need um, phone numbers and times and all that, just go into classroom and look at my syllabus. I spent a lot of time doing it so that it would be useful to you. Um, so some of the stuff I had to put in there, it was required by administration, but some of the stuff is useful information for you. To the syllabus, after I do this presentation, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna put a script of this presentation um, and it's in Google, I think it's in Google Docs, but I'll make it available to you to read. It's a little less formal than the syllabus and it gives some extra information that I didn't put in the syllabus and it'll be under welcome back um, presentation for um, Honors Algebra 2. So these weekly meetings, rather than sending a massive amount of emails, I'm not gonna send you emails for these meetings. What I'm gonna do, the way you're gonna join the meetings is you are going to get into Classroom. Um, you are going to select WebEx, the WebEx link. And like I said, you're going to, once you're in the meeting, go to the bottom and join using your browser. And then the password is always gonna be to join every meeting that same way all right so every meeting that i have you will join the same way a couple things about webex then we'll i'll show you my presentation that i made uh, as far as webex goes when you get in what i'd like you to do is float to the bottom and turn off your microphone you're going to turn it on when I request you to, or if something's going wrong and you need to say something, you're welcome to unmute yourself and say something. I do appreciate all of you having your mics off right now because I don't hear any static and dogs. And even though I like to hear dogs, uh, it's I'm not hearing a whole lot of anything. So um, I appreciate you um, turning those off. You can also float to the bottom and turn your video off. You wouldn't be turning me off. I'm sorry about that, but uh, you can turn your video off and that means I won't see you, but I would love to see you because um, otherwise I'm just talking to a screen with me on it and I can't tell if you're hearing me or anything else. So sometimes periodically I'll ask you, give me a thumbs up, you know, or nod your head so that I know you're okay. And the only way I'm gonna know that is if you have your video on. So um, if you can keep your video on, that would be that would be awesome. I love seeing your beautiful little faces. So thanks, thanks for that. All right, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm gonna do a presentation. And if you could follow along here, that would be great. So right now you should see my screen and I'm going to get into a presentation here through something called Mentimeter. And I'm going to try to get my presentation here. If you'll just bear with me for a second. All right, so hello. Welcome back, you guys. Um, this presentation is going to be somewhat interactive. I'm going to get your feedback in real time. And I'm also going to go through some of the resources that are available to you. Um, if you need more help with the resources, we can absolutely go into more detail um, on Wednesday um, during the workshops or my office hours. All right, so what I'd like you to do right now is um, you're going to go to this um, site, www.menti.com, and you're going to put in this code and answer this question. The question
question is, describe how you feel this morning in one word. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna give you some time to do this. Don't be nervous. Um, you can come back to this presentation by just clicking a tab at the top of your screen. But I'd like you to go to www.minty.com and put in this code and answer this question. And if you're, if you're watching the screen, you're gonna see uh, classmates' responses. And we're looking for 57, 57 responses here, so. Anxious, I know, I feel the same way. So tired, I get it. I've been working to 20 hours a day. Um, normally when I wake up, I just stay up because I can't go back to sleep. My mind's racing too much. So I do get it. Um, stressed, definitely. Exhausted, definitely. It feels like I'm just being bombarded with information. And um, if you're feeling that way, I, I can totally relate. I hope you're enjoying seeing this. This is uh, real time. Uh, these are the responses to students' uh, comments on how do they feel this morning. And I'm just gonna wait while this is changing, while people are still inputting. It's making this really cool mosaic. If you notice, tired is right in the middle of the screen, which I think is interesting. <laughs> I think it gets bigger as people say tired, so. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but tired is definitely the central focus here. Weird, I know, I feel weird too. Awkward, yes. Unready, yeah, don't, it'll be okay. We're gonna be okay. All right, so whether you're anxious and stressed about the school stuff or anxious and stressed about home stuff, Everything is going to be okay. All right. Um, just need to hang in there. Try to take one day at a time. Worried. No. It's going to be okay. I'm here for you. So you can remember, you can always call me at home. Um, also, if you have any questions about anything, um, I will try to find the answers out if I don't already know them. So I'm here for you, okay? So I don't want you to try, I want you to try not to stress anxious. Um, okay, worried. Uh, okay, so we still have some people joining in. All right. All right, so anyhow, um, I'm gonna continue on here. There'll be another one of these at the end of the presentation. So if you didn't quite get your response in this, um, you'll have another opportunity to do that. So I want to talk about some of the resources that are gonna be available to you. Um, I mentioned these in a few different places, but uh, the first resource is Remind. And what I wanna say about this is, um, I am only going to be making just uh, casual conversation with students in Remind. I am not going to be posting assignments. I am not going to be um, posting important information in Remind. Um, the reason why I love Remind too, and I know my students, my students feel with Remind, um, but my students are not in Remind, so. Um, I cannot use that as a place for students to to get what I'm saying. So um, remind will just be for casual usage. The next thing we're going to look at um, will be Google Classroom, and we will look at it in depth when I get to it. Um, I had students at my practice session say they did not feel comfortable with Google Classroom. However, a lot of students said that they did. You're probably getting this in English and some other classes. So if you feel comfortable, that'll be a good thing. 
Um, if you're not com if you're not used to Google Classroom, um, we can go through it in detail. My HRW, you all know how much I've hated this book and the errors in the book, but now all of a sudden I love the book because your interactive book is going to help you so much. And um, over the past few weeks, I've had time to look through your interactive book and there's so many resources and I'm going to show you some of those things today. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, we'll get to that in a minute also. And then finally, the luster of WebEx that we're having so much fun with right now, trying to um, get into these um, interactive meetings. Um, but I do want you to know that the reason why I'm so interested in WebEx is, well, the district wants us to use it. It is the approved video conferencing app. Um, but the reason why I'm so interested in it is because I want to have lessons that are interactive with you. So, in other words, I want you to feel as comfortable as possible. Um, I have whiteboards set up in my house, so um, I want it to seem as much like the classroom as possible. And the second thing is I want um, the, the lessons are going to be recorded. So those are the two main issues that I'm going to be able to teach, um, hopefully interact actively with you um, like a classroom instead of just having recorded mess recorded lessons. And the second thing is I'm able to record and right now the lesson is be being recorded in WebEx um, for you to look. So all the people that Jason and I know. Um, I just saw, um, I think it's Jacob that just entered. Um, you'll be able to watch these on my YouTube channel. Um, so later on, it's your own leisure. I'm not going to say a whole lot about remind uh, students told me in these practice sessions that I had over the weekend that they feel pretty comfortable with remind. So I'm going to kind of skip over that. Okay, here we go. Okay, now with Google Classroom, um, I'm going to actually I am sharing my screen with you. So we are actually going to go into um, Miss Murphy's Google Classroom. Um, actually, the, the classroom that I'm in with Miss Murphy. So if you can just bear with me a second. So first of all, to get to Google Classroom, um, you are going to go to um, your drive where my arrow's pointing here, or you can go into the Colton High School webpage and go under Let's Go, um, the G Suite and Google Classroom. So the way I'm gonna enter it right now is I'm gonna click this little button right here, my drive. And I'm going to go to this, um, well, this thing's covering it, but there's a waffle right here. So I'm going to have to enter it another way. Okay, so I'm sorry that I can't enter it this way. Um, I have little things all over my screen and it just won't let me see my waffle right here, but there's a waffle here behind that little thing. Um, let me see if I can do it this other way. Okay, so you would go under let's go and go into the G Suite. Still can't get it, darn it. I move that thing. Hold on. There's a thing blocking my waffle and I can't get to it. How do I get to it? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna leave for a minute so I can get into it some other way. I'm gonna stop sharing so I can get into it first. So bear with me. Here's my waffle over here. So let me get into it. You can't see this right now. I'm, I'm gonna get you. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to share my screen with you again. And why can't I get my panel? That's not what I want. OK, 
now I have the screen, but I, I'm sorry, you guys. Of all the, all the times I've done these meetings, I haven't had any trouble whatsoever, and now I can't get what I want. Hold on. what I want. Can you guys see me? Can somebody can somebody un unmute yourself and tell me if you can see me, please? Yes. Yes. You can see me? Okay. I can see you. I'm show my screen then. Okay. All right. Um Okay. Gotta share my screen again, see what happens here. Okay, there we go. All right, are you guys with me? All right, so I'm gonna go to Google Cloud. Okay, so I went to Let's Go and then Classes. All right, so. These are my classes, but what I want to do is I want to go into Miss Murphy's class. Okay, um, this is the class that I'm in. So when I go to Miss Murphy's class, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a stream. Okay, now this stream is where all the important messages are going to come up in, in, in your class, whether you be in period zero, three or four. Okay, so um, this is where you're going to see um, assignments. This is where you're going to see important um, messages for me. Um, if you haven't been there already, I do recommend that you read the messages uh, that I've been posting. Um, I do want to apologize for the garbage that I had initially because I, I didn't know what I was doing myself. So, but I did erase all that garbage. And then finally here in classwork, you're going to see your assignments. And this is where you're going to see um, in mine, in, in my setup uh, classroom, you're going to see resources. Um, and you're going to also see the syllabus. And um, this is where we're gonna be doing everything that's important is in Google Classroom. Okay, so thank goodness I was able to get there. And now I'm going to close this. I'm still sharing my screen with you. I'm gonna go back to my presentation, if I can get there. On. Presentation shuts off all the time. This is so much fun trying to maneuver around. I apologize, you guys. Thank you so much for your patience. I, I really appreciate it. Um, scroll down here, see what's next here. Google Classroom, um, like I just showed you, uh, these are the three things you're going to see, the stream, the classwork, and the people that are in the class. Um, I don't have all 50 people together. You're in your own special class. Okay, now, what I'm going to do now, hopefully, is I want to show you a little bit of my HRW so you can see um, how this is going to be so, so, so beneficial to you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I get there. So I'm going to go to the Colton High School website again. I'm going to go to hopefully. And this time, instead of going into G Suite, I'm going to go into Class Link. Now, if you have a Gmail account, which I know you all do with the district, there's all these things that you have access to. So there's just all kinds of stuff. But the thing that we're most interested in, you'll even see WebEx in here but I don't want you to join it from here. Look at this over here. You're gonna see my HRW. And it, it, it will recognize you with your Gmail account. Everything is interlinked. So Google Docs, Google Classroom, um, HRW, WebEx, everything linked to your account. So check this out. This is really cool. I'm gonna sign in, this is my account. I'm sharing my screen with you. 
And here you go. Here's the dashboard um, for your book. Now, you won't have all this red stuff, but this is what you're interested in right here is the student interactive edition. Um, don't use the other button, just use this one. So check this out. I'm so excited about, oh, I, darn it, I knew I was gonna do that. That's seventh grade, I forgot to click. See, you don't have to click the grade, but I think I do. So I need to go into Algebra 2. I think it automatically takes you into Algebra 2. Go back into my student edition here. All right, so here's your book. Um, we are gonna be starting um, on Thursday, hopefully, with Unit 6. We're gonna go to Module 15 and Lesson 15.1, Defining and Evaluating log a Logarithmic Function. So on this screen right here, you guys, this is the important arrow up here. So you're gonna hit the arrow and all of this stuff are lessons being explained by a teacher. So if you absolutely hate me, um, you can go through these things and have another teacher teach you, but this is what I want to show you. Check this out. If you go to evaluate, there's problems just like your assignment. So some of the problems are exactly like your assignment. And some of the problems are a little different, but it's just like, just like your assignment. And what the beauty of this is you can check your answer. So you can get help and you, get, you can get your answer checked. And I just really love this a lot. Very powerful. Let's go to question six. See, I can get examples. You can get step-by-step -step instructions. Um, anyhow, you would do this, this is a problem that like what's in your assignment. You would do it and then you can check your answer or like I said, you can get help. You can get a step by step example. So I love this. This is very powerful. Going back to that arrow, this next thing I want to show you are resources. This right here is your student edition. So if you go here, you are going to see your book that's in the cupboard at school, which is doing absolutely no good right now. So go to the bottom you're going to see what you're used to seeing and that is your assignment so um with this you can print it it's a pdf i think you can print it um you're going to do your assignments the exact same way um the only thing is you are not going to submit your assignment what you're going to do is in google classroom you are going to hit a link and give me your assignment percentage. So you are not gonna give me the actual assignment, you are gonna give me the assignment percentage. Now, um, you, as you know, uh, the exam grades are still gonna be 60%, so it's very important that you do the assignments. Um, they may be uh, not only this book work, but since we're only meeting twice a week, I may include some of the interactive stuff that you just saw in um, my HRW, um, the interactive problems. Um, but anyhow, just assignments that are going to help you to perform on exams, if, if we ever get to that. Go back. It's always little screens covering up my stuff. Of course it took me there. Hold on just a second. Go back this way. Bear with me. So back to resources. Uh, watch this one. This is really good. You see this resource locker? If you go to math on the spot, you are going to be introduced to Dr. Berger. See, look at these. These are the 15-1 concept two. Example, uh, examples and explanations or videos. This is the 15-1 concept three. See, right out of your book, remember the concepts or every time I go to a new um, objective, here they are, but this is way better than me, watch. Dr. Berger. This is the famous, sometimes a lot of scary, 
All right, so anyhow, that's um, Dr. Berger, and that's him teaching pretty much one concept at a time in your book. You should stop taking me there. Back to resources. So that was Dr. Berger, but, and this is the other thing I want you to see is the digital and print resources. This is your student edition right here. This right here is the interactive version, which has a teacher teaching it. And then here is where you're gonna find your selected answers that I normally print for you. So this is where you're gonna find your selected answers. So hopefully this will be beneficial to you. All right, so that is crash course on my HRW. Back to my presentation now. So you have your interactive student edition. Interactive means that you can listen to an instructor and click on certain things for help. It's great. Um, online assignment pages, regular and then uh, math on the spot videos for help and selected answers. Um, this right here, I'm not gonna talk too much about right now because I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna deliver exams and quizzes, but at some point I need to figure that out because um, that's how you're gonna raise your grade. Let me talk about that a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard this or understand it, but your grade cannot go lower than your third quarter grade. So for example, if you are an A student right now in my class, your grade will not fall below an A. So in other words, your grade can only go up. And um, you probably have already figured this out that since the assignments are only 20% of the grade, the only way your grade can go up is through um, exams. So um, I need to get that figured out. It's gonna be very difficult though to figure this out because um, it's very easy for students to be tempted to share answers through um, social networks and things like that. And, and it's a very difficult thing to figure out um, to have a proper assessment. Um, as far as the final goes, while I'm talking about this, the final has not been, been determined by the district and you may not even take a final, but I will keep you posted on that as soon as I, I know what's going on. As far as WebEx goes, um, it is the video on audio conferencing program where I'm going to try to create a classroom as much like we have at school as possible. Um, I'm going to use it to train you, um, which I'm doing right now. Um, I want to I want to be able to do the real time lessons. Um, I want to be able to field um, class questions and student questions in real time. And like I said, I, I'm really hoping that the recorded lessons are going to be beneficial to you if you need to watch them later in the day, or if there's an emergency um, and you cannot come to the required um, class session, class meeting, um, you could watch it at a later time. Um, I just want to tell you that I am taking attendance um, by your um, assignments and your attendance in these meetings. So it's very important that you attend these um, remote class meetings. If for some reason you can't, um, you need to let me know because um, I'm taking attendance um, with these meetings. So um, if you looked at classroom, I did make an assignment due on Friday. Um, it is the verification letter on the back of my remote syllabus. So I have posted the syllabus. I posted it last night. Um, what I need you guys to do is I need you to fill out the verification letter. Um, and I put a link for you to take a picture with your phone and submit it. So it'll be good practice. Um, fill out the verification letter and follow the, the link for the directions on taking a picture with your phone. And I'm returning it in Google Classroom. All right, here we go again. So we're back at Mentimeter. So I would like you, after this, Presentation, I hope it helped some. What I'd like you to do is go to minty.com and put in this code and rank these. On the left is you strongly disagree. 
with you strongly agree on the right and it's asking you about your comfort uh, how comfortable you are with remind google classroom my hrw and webex so um, if you can just input your answers and we can watch this develop on our screens in real time So if you notice, um, students are feeling pretty comfortable with Remind in Google Classroom. I figure that you use Google Classroom somewhere else. And so that's good. Um, and then the last two, Meyer, HRW, and, and WebEx um, are lower, just like I expected. So I'll be honest with you, I knew nothing about my HRW because I'm teaching all the time. And I'm trying to uh, make sure that my lessons in class are, are really good. So over the past few weeks, I've been able to mess with it, and um, it's very it's very powerful. And so um, you want to use that as one of your resources and just mess around with it and see um, what you can find. I showed you some of the important things um, to fool around with, but um, I think you're gonna you're gonna want it and you're gonna use it extensively. So, and then um, you see WebEx is a little bit higher. That's good. It's a little bit higher. Uh, so hopefully we're not going to have too many more issues with WebEx once we get these other problems resolved. All right, I'll see you soon. You're going to keep me informed about any issues or problems you're having. Stay connected with me utilizing technology mentioned in the slide presentation. If I can help, I will. If I can't help, I'll find somebody who can. Stay well and stay positive. We got this. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen with you right now and i'm going to take some questions all right hi i can see some of you now hi Clisa. okay so if you could just um one at a time unmute yourself and um if you have a question you can ask me if um some of you want to hang out to actually see the whiteboards of how I'm going to set up the actual lessons. Um, you can do that, but I'm pretty much finished with my presentation. So I don't want to burn you out. I know I've given you a lot of information and, and everybody else is throwing information at you also. So um, you are welcome to go, um, but I am going to field some questions right now if anybody has any about anything. Um, after I take the questions, I'm going to set up my laptop so you can see the whiteboards. Anybody have any concerns, uh, questions about anything? Hi, Dario. I have 47 people um, that were at this meeting. Um, I could not see all of you. I'm just seeing a few thumbnails at the bottom of my screen. I'm actually going to stop this recording right now, if you don't mind, because um, I'm going to have trouble uploading these big files to YouTube anyway. So I'm just going to stop the recording.